Um, my name is Lauren Godfrey. Um, I'm showing some sculptures in the exhibition. Um, they're kind of related to language and pasta and uh, many, <laughs> many things. Um, so there's one particular piece called Spaghetti alla Vongole, which is um, a floor sculpture that has the word Spaghetti alla Vongole spelt out in clamshells. Um, and that kind of came about from, from eating Spaghetti alla Vongole, collecting the clamshells and wanting to make this font. And this kind of, uh, I suppose, having a language to speak but having nothing to say. Um, and so I'd made this font and I made an entire kind of Scrabble alphabet, but actually nothing, nothing could be said apart from spaghetti alla vongole, the very thing that it had come from. So that kind of sparked off this, this uh, thought about the, the, the conversational and the mute and sort of somehow trying to say something but not quite being able to. So then this other piece, Ravioli Blank, which is kind of a companion piece to Spaghetti alla Vongole, um, which has, it's like a four colour screen print held with tip trays um, on the wall. And it has five uh, ravioli along the bottom, which are just printed in four colours. And they kind of became the, the blanks, I suppose, in Scrabble to, to accompany the clam letters. Um, so that's, that sort of could be any five-letter word. So your current practice has a heavy kind of uh, interest in language, and wh where do you see it going, the development? Will it always be about pasta, or do you think it will...? No, it won't always be about pasta. I think I'm trying to work through this Italian phase. Um, I'm planning a performance that sort of addresses this exotic language thing, and I suppose it's something that happened partly by accident, partly by being in Venice for the biennial and then again on holiday with my parents this year, which was kind of coincidental. And I think it just, it became a bit of an obsession. Um, so I think this is also as, as, a, as a way to kind of sum up a moment or a time or a place, I guess it's kind of useful, uh, particularly with food as a kind of memory aid or something. But. Um, but the, yeah, it, the the performance involves French and German as well. <laughs> so. And uh, that performance is that's uh, going to be presented uh, during the New Contemporaries as yeah. part of the event that you've um, been working on. So yeah, for on language the event, uh, I've invited some people that I know and some that I don't uh, to perform. Um, things art, artworks related to language so um and i'm and i'm presenting one as well um as a way of kind of addressing this discrepancy between the visual and the verbal in art and um trying to trying to sum up something visual with with words it's always a difficult challenge <laughs> yeah for sure so how's the uh been involved with the bloomberg new contemporaries uh helped your practice? Um, yeah, it's helped enormously. Um, I feel like the moment after you graduate is really, really difficult and I couldn't, yeah, I, I couldn't have known how hard, but I think that New Contemporaries has really helped to soften that blow and, uh, and the people that I've met uh, have been wonderful, made some good friends and, um, and I feel like it allows me to take myself more seriously as an artist and have a kind of, uh, have, have more to say and more of a voice, I suppose. And doing this, uh, this performance thing has allowed me to kind of reach out and have something to offer to people which I've not really had before. All the way through, I've always wanted to do performance and it's never quite worked. Every sculpture kind of started as a performance and the performance bit was the worst bit of it and it's dropped out. And so I think, uh, yeah, what remains is a sort of an almost prop thing that yeah. kind of, yeah, could some, somehow is, is born of performance. So I think uh, it's been a good challenge to force myself to perform for this project. And yeah, I think I'll carry on and see, see if that keeps happening. Yeah. So what are your plans for the future? Uh, plans for the future, um, trying to get a job at the moment and carrying on working. I've got, I've got a friend's studio that I'm working in. 
um, looking at residencies and things, just trying to negotiate the real world and see how I fit in, but um, definitely carry on making stuff. <laughs>